On the heels of World Habitat Day, which was observed last Monday, our reporter, Krista Campbell, looks at the threats to an important underwater ecosystem that's home to a quarter of the Earth's marine life. In the first of a two-part In Focus report, we look at the impact of hotter sea temperatures on coral reefs. They're the multicolored rock-like structures you see when you take a glass bottle boat ride, go snorkeling, or scuba diving. And they provide a home for a quarter of all marine life worldwide. But coral reefs, already delicate ecosystems, are under increased threat because of warming sea surface temperatures. In Jamaica, experts say some have been dying. The Port Royal Keys, Discovery Bay, Montego Bay, Oracabessa, Portland, we've we've heard of reports from our colleagues in those areas that they are noticing bleaching at their sites. Um, I've also been to West Milan, and I can say from first-hand observation that we're seeing an extensive part of the area in West Milan bleaching. Chantel Green Parkins is a marine biologist and a scientific officer at the Port Royal Marine Lab in Kingston. She gave details about coral bleaching. They have an algae that lives within the coral polyp themselves. So the algae is what provides the corals with food and it gives the corals their color. When corals are introduced to stress, which in our case is the high sea surface temperatures, the algae is expelled from the corals. In essence, it's not a suitable home for the for the algae anymore. So it leaves, and that's what gives the corals their white color. However, she says a bleached coral is not necessarily dead and can be revived if whatever stressor caused it to bleach in the first place is removed quickly enough. The corals can then attract another algae and eventually start flourishing again. However, Mrs. Parkins says with an extensive period of warming of Jamaican waters from May to December, that could be disastrous. She says corals perform best in water temperatures between 23 and 29 degrees Celsius. But up to mid-September 2023, waters in a section of West Milland were as hot as 36 degrees Celsius. Before you even go in the water, you can see the white corals from above surface. Once you go into the water now, you're seeing it up close um, in terms of the bleaching where the, the corals are stark white. She says it's the worst she's seen it, and the long-term impact would be a loss of habitat for marine animals. Scuba diver and underwater photographer in Westmoreland, Richard Duval, says it's already negatively impacting fishing and tourism. We have a few travelers that travel back and they do see a difference in terms of um, the sea life that they would want to see at a certain um, dive site. We're not seeing as much uh, big sea fans as we're usually seeing. Um, some places you have to go deeper to actually get to, to see a reef. A healthy reef tends to be more 3D. You know, you have your branching corals, your brain corals that we've seen pictures of. You have your sea fans. The more 3D the reef is, usually it's more healthier. It is providing more space for animals to live. It is buffering that wave energy and slowing down those waves before it gets to the coast. Once the reef begins to die, it becomes more 2D, more flat. You start to see more erosion along the coastline. So what are the authorities doing to save the coral reefs in Jamaica? We'll explore in part two. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.